Hello, guys. We are live. I want to see if anybody is here yet. Where I'm, I'm a little early, but I just wanted to see. Let me see if anyone is here before I even start. I am new to this, guys, so please bear with me. I have not done a live uh, from my desktop before, so I'm hoping somebody will actually be uh, <laughs> be listening when I do this. Let me check to see if anyone's here. Hey, Michael, what's up? Eduardo. Thanks for coming in, guys. I wish it was under better circumstances, but I wanted to – talk to you guys. So we're going to wait for a little bit before everybody gets in. Let me let everybody know uh, everywhere else that we are live. Give me a sec. All right. So, guys, if you have any questions, uh, there's only a couple of you here right now, but if there's any questions, please ask in the in the comments, and I will do the best I can. But I do have some things to discuss, and I will give you the information that I know. Hey, Norris, nice of you to come by. Of course, Eduardo. That's why. That's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to help you, help the tribe and help filmmakers in general. And uh, something like this doesn't happen very often. And I wanted to make sure I addressed it uh, as quickly as possible so everybody can do what they need to do. All right. So we're going to give it about another couple minutes, guys. And then, uh, and I know that I kind of threw this together at the last minute. I am going to be posting a podcast about this as well and and then a lot of this information will be in the podcast as well but i wanted to kind of be able to give a, a forum to be able to answer questions as opposed to just you guys listening to my sultry voice <laughs> hey lorenzo nice of me nice of you to come by hey pat how you doing man i'm sure you're interested in hearing about what's going on <laughs> So again, for everybody just joining us, uh, if you have any questions during the, the live broadcast, please uh, please let me know in the comments, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. So again, we'll give it about another couple minutes, guys, for people to come in, and then we'll start we'll start talking. We'll start doing the uh, the broadcast, man. Like I said before, I wish it was under better circumstances. Uh, I don't I haven't done one of these in a long, long, long time because I'm I just I just don't. But uh, I felt that this was a appropriate time for me to do it. So, yeah, rough, 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 rough times for filmmakers, man. Rough times. But hey, we've been through rougher times, so we'll get through it, man. Uh, to 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 to. Yeah, never a dull moment, Pat. <laughs> it is never a dull moment in the uh, in the indie film hustle in general, but. In any filmmaking, there's uh, there's always something uh, going on. So, uh, without question, let's give it a one more minute, and then I'll just start uh, I'll start talking. And hopefully, I think this is being recorded on on this, and and then hopefully, it'll be available for other people to listen to uh, on the on the Facebook pages and groups and things. So, hopefully, uh, this will get out there as well. But if not, the podcast episode that I'll be releasing later this morning. We'll, uh, we'll address a lot of these things. Let me see anybody else. Give me one second, guys.
Give me one second. Just marketing and promoting because I want to get this out to as many people as possible. All right, so let's let's get started, guys. I wanted to I wanted to kind of address a lot of the rumblings going on with Distribber. Now, for those of you who don't know what Distribber is, Distribber is an aggregator that allows you to upload your films directly to the platforms iTunes, Amazon, Hulu, and all those kind of places. And I, years ago, uh, when This Is Meg, my first feature film was released, I used them for for self-distribution, basically, to be able to be put up on those platforms. And they did extremely well by me. They they got me a Hulu deal uh, for This Is Meg, which was a small $5,000 film and did extremely well. And I was been able to, you know, generate more and more revenue with this model. The And then... Uh, I actually recently, unfortunately, recently, I went with them for a client of mine that wanted to get their films up onto the platform as well, and uh, I, you know, spent uh, we spent a lot of money putting it up there, and it took months and months and months before it uh, before I heard a word, and I kept asking, "Where is this? Where is this? It doesn't take four months to do this, guys. It takes forty-five to sixty days tops," and uh, they basically told me. Uh, that, sorry, we think you should probably go with somebody else because we are not able to guarantee when this film is going. These films are going to be uh, put on the platforms. And I was like, "What? What the hell is going on?" And at that point, they told me, "Oh, and anything regards to refunds, back payments, anything like that." They referred to me to a company that they just hired uh, or brought on to help them reorganize. And when you hear the word reorganize in the corporate world, that's not a good thing. Uh, the company from after that, I went deep. I, I reached out to all of my contacts. I, I started, I started doing my Winston. What is it? Um, my deep throat, <laughs> I started really digging in and started talking to everybody I could about what was going on because there's just radio silence on their end, for the most part, to most filmmakers. I got through to a couple, but that was it. So after doing much research and, and speaking to a lot of people close to the situation, this is what's going on. Basically, distributors' offices have been closed their actual offices here in LA have been closed for better part of two months, if not longer. So there is no more distributor offices. There are still people working for distributor, but they are not. Um, they are working remotely, and at the most, there's maybe four or five people. That's it. They used to have 30, 40 people working at that company. Now there's maybe four or five trying to do some sort of cleanup. And the reason why they're not getting back to you when you email them is basically because they don't have any answers. They have no answers for you because they this is this is a a bad situation for everybody involved. I was also informed that they have very little money left. They are in bad shape financially, guys. This is a result of extreme mismanagement at the highest levels of that company. Um, and that's what I was told directly. It's just straight up mismanagement. I don't know if there's anything shady going on, illegal going on, I don't know. And I can't, I can't say that there is because I don't have any proof of that. But uh, it, this is an obvious case of mismanagement. And you know, I'm still owed money. I'm, I'm still trying to get my money back for for the for the projects I was uploading, and I'm just trying to get my my uh, my back pay for this is Meg back as well. So I'm in the same boat as many of you guys are listening or watching me right now. It, it, I wanted to address this because again, I did promote this company a few years ago fairly heavily, and I had them on my show very often. Because they did really good by me, and and I, 
I wanted to help filmmakers. That was because I'm like, I had a great, I had a great scenario. I had a great scenario with it. So I wanted other filmmakers to have good scenarios with it. And I know a lot of filmmakers had, you know, range 15 made over $3 million with them. I was a success case as well, but the company that I was promoting and the company that I was, you know, heralding as a great situation for us is not the company that's there today, obviously, but even a few months ago, all the main players that I knew are gone. Jason Brubaker is gone. Nick Soros, the president, is gone. Everybody that I knew is gone. And ever since they left, everything started going downhill. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's something systemic from for this platform. And, and we can talk a little bit about aggregators in general. Because a lot of a lot of people out there are saying that, like, well, I'm, I'm glad I'm with Quiver. I'm glad with um with somebody else, and that's great. And I I'm, I wish you guys nothing but the best. But I just want to kind of draw a little bit of attention to this situation because this has been around for seven eight years, I think, at this point, and they were they were owned by Go Digital, which is a a larger company. And by the way, this is not just a stripper; it's all the Go Digital companies. There was a, I think it's Amplify Releasing is the distribution company that they're with as well. Everything's being reorganized is the word I was, I was told. So as a general business model with, with aggregators, generally speaking, and not every aggregator is the same, but you pay a fee up front. And then you, with that fee, you get placed on those, on those, those platforms. And then they track. Uh, do reporting and and pay you basically, and sometimes they'll take a, a small percentage, uh, but most times, like distributor, they didn't, and then they then they changed it to like, oh, you got to pay a couple hundred bucks a year for us to be able to keep keep this up, I, you know. But the problem was that that business model was not sustainable. It was just not a sustainable business model. So it it begs the begs the question, you know, what kind of business models are these other aggregators having? Is this is this the, the first stone dropped and there's going to be multiple ripples moving forward? I don't know. I want you guys to be safe. And I'm not trying to create any, any drama or any you know, hysterics of anybody who's at another aggregator. I'm just stating a plain fact that this business model, I'm not sure if it works. It didn't work with distributor, but other ones, it probably is working really well. You know, so a lot of these aggregators are multiple businesses. They're like post houses that do aggregation on the side, and that might make more sense. I don't know. I really don't know. But it is something that is concerning. Uh, I hope there's other options and other opportunities coming, for, coming soon uh, for filmmakers to be able to go directly to the, to the, to the, film, the platforms and try to make a sustainable living with their, with their product, with their movies. So I hope that's coming forward soon. The, the one thing that I say as far as anybody out there like me who's owed money, owed back money, uh, or is owed a refund for them just basically defaulting on the contract that they, were, they, they signed with you, the chances of you getting your money back are getting slimmer and slimmer every day, I hate to tell you. And I can't say for sure. Hopefully after they reorganize, they'll be able to pay everybody back in an early, orderly fashion. They're going to try maybe to find investors, uh, sell the company to somebody else. Who knows what they're going to try to do. Um, as of right now, as today, as I'm talking to you, I, I don't know. But the minimum that you can do is demand from them that they release your films, that they pull your films off of these platforms ASAP. Because if they pull those, those films off their platforms, you will have access to them again. So I want you to understand something that is, to my understanding, this is the way it works. If you, are able, if you put up a film to Amazon, let's say, through Distriber, if you decide that, well, obviously the situation is not working anymore, so you're going to go with another aggregator or you're going to try to sign a deal with another uh, distributor, traditional distributor, they can't upload your movie to that platform until distributor removes that that movie so you're pretty much in limbo until they do so at minimum get them to give you an email just saying hey guy we're going to move your we're, you're in line to be pulled off uh, we will remove your movie we have all the intentions to remove that movie 
And at least you have, and if they can get that in an email, at least you have that and you can maybe use that to go to Amazon or iTunes or Google and ask them to pull it down based off of that email chain that you have with this company and what problems they're having. So I hope that that gives you some sort of help because I, I want, like I'm, I'm trying to get my movie back. I'm trying to get This Is Meg back because I want to try to, you know, go with a, another partner that I'm working with to get it uploaded to uh, Amazon again through another distribution company. So this is sad all the way around, guys. I mean, it, it, it's sad. It's, it's anger. I'm angry as hell about it. And it, it really affects the most vulnerable in our business, which are independent filmmakers. You know, I know a lot of you out there are family men and family women and have families to support. And these payments that were coming in, they helped. And sometimes they, they were really doing a lot for your bottom line to cover your monthly nut and to help support your family. And this company, because of their gross mismanagement, and hopefully that's all it is, is just gross mismanagement. But because of this gross mismanagement, you guys are suffering. And I don't want to see, I don't want to see independent filmmakers suffer. That's not what I am about. That's why I'm doing this today. That's why I wanted to come out and talk about this publicly because I think a lot of people need to know the truth. So I am going to be releasing a podcast, which is kind of going to go over a bit of what I talked about today and we'll go a little bit deeper in some other stuff. I'll release that uh, later this morning as well. So everybody can listen to it that didn't wasn't able to sign in today on it but the reason i did this live version is because i want to answer any questions so if anybody out there has a question please write it in the comments uh and i'll be more than happy to answer it to the best of my ability if you have any comments or questions please lay them out and i will do what i can so type away people please Anyone? Is everyone still in shock about what's going on? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's, you know, I can't cry about it. So what am I going to do? All right. Well, if I don't, if I don't have anybody, you know, ask any questions, I will, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just close it up because I don't, I'm not just going to sit here and talk for another hour. So let me know what you, uh, does anyone have any questions? Going once, going twice. All right. I guess uh, everyone's still in shock, but uh, but I, I hope this has been helpful to everyone who's listening. And I, I do want to ask you guys to do something for me. Please, if you see any of my content coming out in the next week or so in regards to this or moving forward in regards to this dribber and updates and things like that, please share it with as many people as you possibly can in the film business to really make them aware of what's going on. And if you, by the way, if you do go to the Stripper's website, it's still live. From what I understand, you can't submit films anymore. But though they were still accepting movies up until very recently, which is kind of shady considering that they, you know, don't didn't know what the hell was going on and they couldn't, you know, fulfill the situa these situations. So warn everybody about it as much as they can. From my understanding, the company that is reorganizing this whole situation, they're going to take time to wrap their head and deal with the crap that they've been handed. So they're just coming in, doing the best job they can to kind of look at all the books, look at all the information of what's going on and create a battle plan to to save the company to at minimum to pay everybody back to remove everybody's movies and cancel all those agreements so uh it's going to take some time but if you want to hit them up support at distribber.com is where you should go i don't 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 know if they'll hit you back or not but it's worth a shot keep hitting them out as much as you possibly can so Thanks for listening, guys. Again, anybody else? Last chance. Anybody else have any other questions? If not, I will end this, this recording and I'll go back to work doing other stuff. So let me know, my friend. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And uh, keep on hustling. I'll let you know if I know anything, if I hear anything else. Thanks for listening, guys.